Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew. And welcome back to Resident Evil. We're uh, we're doing good. Episode three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, hopefully we'll be able to break our previous record of four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so we've got three of the masks. We've got uh, the sheet music. Uh, are there any other puzzle things that, that we've accumulated? Sheet music, right. <laughs> Did I just remind you? <laughs> well, it's a good thing I said something, isn't it? <laughs> I just subverted disaster. I was like, I was like what, what, where are we so... I was actually, like, as you were saying that, I was thinking, like, where do we go next? <laughs> and then you're like, sheet music. I'm like, all right. Well, let's... Uh, crisis averted. Oh yes, yes. the wind crest. It's the other thing yeah, I have no crest. idea what to do with. Yeah, it's cool. We'll get there. This is all my inventory spots. Why am I going? Wow, there? you're right. You do have a metric crap ton. Yeah, <laughs> well, like, you've already started now. You've committed to the bit. Yeah, like I, I, f I feel like if you use all of your inventory sp space, like that, that should be like wow. an achievement. Like somehow use <laughs> all. Of like, how did you divide them up, of the clips, up into individual bullets? I didn't know there was a mechanic for that. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, viewers, if anybody out there has managed to fill up your storage box, uh, let us know. Link a screen cap or something. Well, yeah, I guess if you, you can't can, like, screen post, cap it. Post, like, a video response, because I want to, like, I want to subscribe to you. I want to see that. <laughs> All right. So, let's see here. Get to go run around the mansion. Mm mm. Now, are we doing that because zombies, or because this is a crazy murder mansion? Um, both, but also because <laughs> the doorknob fell off. So oh yeah, yeah, away. that's right. So <laughs> this is now the way we have to go. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> oh man, the music just kicks in as I was like. <laughs> It's just like, oh, I love that. Oh man, well, if you're if you're like caught unawares from that, like it just scares the <laughs> ever living crap out of you. I know that was a very uh, anticlimactic. Oh no, right there, but that that actually <laughs> oh, no. caught me <laughs> a little little off guard. <laughs> I, would, I would probably have screamed if I were actually playing. Mm. Uh, heads up, guys. When it's my turn in the uh, in the pilot seat, uh, there's gonna be a lot of screaming. I'm almost a little sad that um, that you didn't like go first because I'm like ruining some of the scary bits for you. Yes, but at the same time, I feel like nobody wants to watch me flounder for like 30 episodes. It's true. <laughs> so it's it's probably good that I have some idea what's con what's going on. Yeah. Oh man, but you're playing Amnesia Blind. Heads up, yes. viewers, he's playing Amnesia Blonde. <laughs> Get ready for the most girly screams you have ever heard. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, Pierre. Yeah, this is one of my favorite puzzles. Oh, my dog. <laughs> no, people are coming home. Oh, musical <laughs> score, but I already have one. Well, if you examine this, it's titled Moonlight Sonata. And if we open it up, a section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and end of the music. Ho, ho, ho. Which is what this is here, the middle. So now we have the full musical score. And now we can play Moonlight Sonata. Yes. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding! Oh no! It didn't work. It's me, Chris. Rebecca. Is he really bad at it? He is really bad at piano. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that we didn't. The audio isn't working for that. Yeah, that's upsetting. At least someone here knows how to play the piano. I feel like every group of adventurers or like explorers every group of protagonists need to have somebody who can play the piano or a musical instrument because there's always yeah. that puzzle that involves reading sheet music 
Like, even in the Goonies, they had to read the sheet music. I like what they did in uh, Final Fantasy V, where, like, every time you played... My interpretation is... Um, every time you played, you get, a, like, a little bit better. Huh. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and let Rebecca practice. Sure. But seems get too carried away. Seems they've got a uh, similar mechanic here. Yeah, so she's kind of shoddy. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and leave the room. We're gonna pick something up, bring it back. But yeah, like every, in in Final Fantasy V. Sorry, I got like kind of derailed there. But um, mm. every time you uh, hit the action button next to the piano, like at first you'd start you like playing like this scale and you really couldn't. Um, uh -huh. And it led all, led all the way up to you're just like flying around on the piano. Now is so, that just like you can sit there mashing the button, or you have to come back throughout the game and you get a little bit better? Well, you actually can only use a piano once. Um, so what happens oh. is when you play it? Yeah, when you play it, you have to go to the next piano. They're always in the, like the taverns or whatever. Uh huh. And uh, so. I'm assuming there's no real actual point to that. Yeah. It's just a cool little Easter egg thing. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely no point. <laughs> but I like I like those little touches though. I feel like those yeah, kinds of things are what I like most about games like Dark Souls that don't yeah. really like force feed you the lore and stuff. They let you yeah, kind of explore like, the world. Yeah, and that, and that kind of actually immerses you into the world further because like, you know, not everything has to be related to the story. Yeah, and like uh Resident Evil, um last episode we found that that, that letter that had been mm -hmm. written and it's cool just like exploring the mansion and finding these things that people have left behind and it gives you some insight as to like what was going on here without having like exposition man show up and start ranting to you yeah seriously so she's still taking a bit to practice. is this a time why. thing or like we need to go do something specific I, I guess it's a time thing, but I I always remember just going out and coming back in. And she'd be like, "All right, I've done the piano." <laughs> Come on. What's this all about? Oh, come on, Rebecca. So, is there anything else we can take care of while Rebecca's practicing? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I guess we'll deposit three out of the four masks um, mm. now. It's very good. It's a very good idea to place. Oh, I can hear Midnight Sonata masks. now. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of hear it as she practices there. So, um, real quick, just a heads up. Um, you have to place all four masks. It's gonna trigger a cutscene, and then you're gonna have a, a boss battle. So, what I always like to do is at some point just head into. Um, was the, the catacombs or? Yeah, yeah, it's that it's that that place that we got the book of curse way back mm -hmm. when episode one. One. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's a very good idea to just go and grab those masks at some point. I should have actually just brought them with me, but I don't, I don't know why I didn't. Mm. Yeah, so that way you can have three extra inventory spots for the boss battle. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll need them. Oh my, will you good, need them. Good thinking on that mm -hmm. one. I probably would have just been a derp and brought all four at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did that my first time just because, you know, I, the first time I played this, I wasn't, of course, used to the the, the catacombs area that that place was. Oh, I forgot you. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, he did bust down that door, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, that that uh, that area, that whole section is news to me. And, you know, that, that's specific to the GameCube version. So, mm. um, you know, I, I wasn't aware of what was going to happen then. I, I should have seen the giant coffin. So I should have, <laughs> I guess, known. Okay, I bet you there's something in that. Yeah, very very seldomly are there things that are just sort of placed there for no particular reason. Yeah. I find usually in games like these, at least the ones that are done well, and I think this is one of them, um, everything serves a purpose, and there's very few things that are just for decoration. It's just decoration. Just decoration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to go there, but... <laughs> get, some 
get some bub rub in this video. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? Actually, I do want to take that that herb. I don't know why I put it down. <laughs> I was gonna mention something about uh, possibly wanting to keep that on you. <laughs> I feel like having at least one heal item on you at all times is probably a good idea. It's a pro tier move, just a heads up. <laughs> this MLG up in here now. <laughs> We're not messing around. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, another... Um, I don't know if it was this episode or last. It was probably last episode where we were talking about the different modes that you have when you that you can unlock when you beat the game. Yes, I believe that was last um, episode. Yeah, one of the other modes, and this was my personal favorite. Doesn't really change. I mean, it sticks you on hard mode. Like there, you know, there's of course hard mode in this. You know, and you'll unlock. Watch that out for the zombie. Out. Yep. Okay. Well, come on, come on, buddy. Come on. So, uh, the your favorite mode. Yeah, my favorite mode um, really doesn't change anything aside from hard mode. It's, uh, but the one thing that it does change that makes it infinitely more difficult. Um, the chests aren't all magically connected. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, so if you leave something in a chest in the hallway, there we go. You need um, to go back to the hallway chest. Yeah, you need to go back to that <laughs> chest to get it. So, that's... Uh, and it it seems like such a small small thing, but then when, once you've you know it's hard enough remembering what you've picked up and what you haven't picked up, but having to remember where you put whatever you picked up um, adds a lot of time to your play. So yeah, I feel like at that point you should probably just have like a notepad next to you while you're playing. You can write the stuff down. Yeah, Excel documents everywhere. <laughs> Oh man, I have made Excel spreadsheets for so many games. Usually things mm -hmm. like Monster Hunter, though. Yeah, yeah. Usually, I'll, you know, if I'm doing something um, like Kerbal Space Program or something like that, I'll run an Excel yeah. sheet so I can do my math. But uh, <laughs> not usually for there, adventure games. Yeah, I feel like there are uh, two kinds of gamers out there: gamers who will write down all their numbers in Excel spreadsheets and do the math, and gamers who just kind of wing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, hold where the eye should be, so he needs this one. Doop. Oh. Okay, uh, if that wasn't your first clue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sad that we didn't, uh... Oh, at this point, I, I just had everything there, so I wasn't going back, so I'm like, oh, well. But, um... I'm sad that yeah. we're missing some of the, uh... Yeah, cause that that makes like splatter noises and chain noises. Yeah, a lot of the uh, a lot of the sound effects are missing again. Pretend, viewers. Pretend. Knows. <laughs> so this one, this one should be it. Yeah, this is the all three. Boosh. All right. Kersplurk. The mask right, fits cool. perfectly. Good. Good. Yes. Okay. So. Errand complete. Let's go see how Rebecca's doing. Yeah. She better be done. I swear. <laughs> if she's not done by now, I will be very disappointed. Oh, oh, oh. This is this is bad. Yeah, this is not uh, good. Am I gonna get hit? No. Okay. Whew, that was close. <laughs> I'm starting to get my Resident Evil uh, fingers back. Yeah, that's good. That's good. S starting Just to get in back into too. the game. Yeah. Oh, these doors. <laughs> I know every every time one shows up, I'm just like, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> just doors and this hallway. <laughs> and those are so, really the only two spots that you can really pick up on the uh, the slowdown from Fraps. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I promise you, it's it's not nearly as arduous as it is here. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Uh. <laughs> All right. Cool. 
So let's go back to another door. Oh, I can hear the music from this side already. Yeah, you can tell. She's oh, and then it too. stops when we stare at the door. Yeah, this ought to trigger a cutscene at least, though. Could we hear it outside before, or is that just like something you can pick up? Chris. Okay, Chris, yeah. I think hmm. I got it. I'm not sure. I'll uh, I'll go back and check and leave a note for you guys so you know. Yeah. Such a pretty song. It is nice. I do very much enjoy it. But I feel like it has kind of become synonymous with creepy birthday. things as well. Yeah. <laughs> Secret yeah. passage. I love that you had to combine the beginning and end part with the middle part, and all she does is play a section off of the first play page. <laughs> all of that work for nothing. Yeah, like you could have just skipped it. You know. Skipped that entire section of the puzzle. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this first thing. Trevor's Diary. 11 days have passed since 1967. Arriving yeah. Yeah. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat came with me with a plate of skimpy meal and said to me, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. So, Ms. Sir Spencer and Trevor. Um, yeah, so he's, he's got Jessica and Lisa. That's, uh, Jessica is his wife. Lisa is his daughter. Um, the lighter, this is where Jill, I think, gets the lighter or something. So uh -huh. around there. Um, yeah. Let's see here. His family is probably. Yeah. <laughs> His family is probably. So, yeah, basically, um, I don't know about Trevor, but Spencer was the guy who built this mansion. Right. And oh, no! It. Yeah. He built all sorts of traps. So, basically, you can't, like, you can't get out of here unless you have this wooden emblem that we got. Ah, uh ha, -huh ha. -huh. There's a lot of the old switcheroonie in this one. <laughs> the hell, this is not the time to use this! Um, there we go. I don't know why I didn't take, but yeah. I think you were a little too far away. Yeah. A couple of frames off. Yeah, man, Spencer was one crazy paranoid dude. Are you all right in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That so, was the most um, pointless cutscene ever. <laughs> you all right in there? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, and you'll actually, we're actually gonna see Lisa, and in a way, we're gonna see Jessica as well. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I've... it's infinitely creepier than I'm even giving it credit for. I don't want to spoil uh... it, but it's one of those moments where you're just like, ew. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's not right. Uh... I feel like if you have to use the phrase sort of to qualify that kind of statement, nothing good could come of it. No, nothing good whatsoever. <laughs> She's alive. Sort of. Kinda. <laughs> so, okay, so here's a puzzle. If we look at this here, a picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of the knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. So. Okay. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears. Try it? Yes. So if we turn the small gear, it turns the large thing. Uh-huh. So okay, it will turn so... it one step? Yep. So we want to actually turn the large gear to the right. Right? Oh, okay. okay. So one moves one hand, one moves the other. Yeah. So the short sword needs to go through the breast. Mm-hmm. So... But I don't see the... Uh... Oh, the short and the long are the hands. 
Derp. Yep. Okay. So the short, so the short sword goes through the breast or the armor, uh -huh. while the long one goes through the head or the helmet. The helmet. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting you now. Yep. Then we get another mansion key. And if we examine this one, the shield, shield key. key. Yeah. Yes. Good. Yeah. All right. So on that note, I think this is probably a good place to call it. Yep. We will catch you guys next time. Later, guys.